Good day everyone. Today I will be discussing to you the prime numbers and the composite numbers. When we say prime numbers, these are the numbers with only two factors, one and itself. Okay. Otherwise, if the number has more than two factors, aside from one in itself, it is a composite number. Now, from 1 to 10, let us determine 1 to 10, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Let us determine what are the prime numbers between 1 to 10. 1 is a special number. It is not a composite nor a prime number. So our smallest prime number is 2. Because the factors of 2 are 2 and 1 only. Our second prime number is 3. Because the factor of 3, or the factors of 3, are 1 and itself only. 1 and 3. 4. Factors of 4 can be 2 times 2 or 4 times 1. That means it is not a prime number. It is a composite. How about 5? Five? 5 has only two factors. 1 and itself. 5 and 1. So, 5 is a prime number. 6? Six? 6 has a factors of 6 times 1 and 3 times 2. So, it is not a prime number. It is a composite. And 7? 7 has the factors of 1 times 7. So we have two factors only. So 7 is a prime number. 8 has a lot of factors, 4 times 2 and 8 times 1. 9, we have 3 times 3 and 9 times 1. Number 10, 5 times 2 and 10 times 1. So 8, 9, and 10 are not prime numbers. It is a composite numbers. Now, let us use our prime factors between 1 to 10. We have 2, 3, 5, and 7 to determine the prime numbers between 1 to 100. So I've listed the numbers from 1 to 100 here. Now, since number 1 is not a prime, or a composed number, we're going to box number one. Okay. Next step. Two. And circle two. Then cross all the multiples of two. So multiples of two are four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44, 46, 48, 50, 52, 54, 56, 58, 60, 62, 64, 66, 68, 70, 72, 74, 76, 78, 80, 82, 84, 86, 88, 90, 92, 94, 96, 98, and 100. Again, our goal is to find all the prime numbers between 1 to 100. Okay, we're done at number 2. Next. And circle number 3, and circle number 3, then cross out all the multiples of 3. 3, so multiples are 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30, we have 33, 36, 39, 42, 45, 48, 
48 next is 51 54 57 60 63 66 69 72 75 78 81 84 87 90 93 96 and 99 now we're done in number three next is number five so since five is a prime number then we need to encircle five and now cross all the multiples of five multiples of five are 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 45 50 55 60 65 70 75 80 85 90 95 and 100 or done in number five at last and circle seven then cross out the multiples of seven seven multiples are 14 21 28 35 42 49 so we need to cross 49 49 56 next 56 63 next 70 next 77 next 84 after 84 is 91 then 98 okay it's already crossed up now encircle all the remaining numbers remaining numbers are 11 13 17 19 23 29 31 37 41 47 59 61 67 71 79 83 89 and 97 okay oh we also have here 43 53 and 73 now let us double check so our prime numbers between 1 to 100 so prime numbers prime numbers between 1 to 100 are 2 3 5 7 11 13 17 19 23 29 Next is 31, 37, 41, 43, 47, 53, 59, 61, 67, 71, 73, 79, 83, 89, and 97. So, all in all, there must be 25. So, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So, there are 25 prime numbers between 1 to 100. Then, all the numbers that we cross out are the composite numbers. That means they have more than two factors aside from itself and one. For our next lesson, we're going to discuss the prime factorization. So you need to memorize or at least familiarize all these prime numbers. Thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV.